Hi, in this video I am going to explain about joins in SQL Server. Joins play a vital role in retrieving data from two or more tables. In my earlier video I have explained what are the different types of joins and what is the purpose of each type of join in SQL Server. In this video I am going to explain about each type of join again with a pictorial representation for easy understanding. Here to show you the example I have created two tables. One is student table and the other one is student address table. In student table I have the information about the students whose ID is 1 to 10 except for the ID 5. If you see here I don't have the information for ID 5. And in student address table here I have address details of the students for IDs 1 to 10 except for the ID 7. That is in student table I don't have the ID 5. And in student address table, I don't have the information for ID 7. And rest are all the IDs are common in both the tables. That is in student table and student address table, remaining IDs are common except for 5 and 7. 5 is missing in student table and 7 is missing in student address table. The common IDs are 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 8, 9, 10. So, we will see the pictorial representation for these tables. So if you see here the left side circle indicates student table and the right side circle indicates student address table. In student table I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 is not there and 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So these are the IDs in my student table. And in student address table, except 7 remaining all IDs are there. The common IDs in these two tables are 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 8, 9 and 10. With these two tables, we will see each type of join. Let's begin with the inner join. The inner join purpose is it will retrieve the data only if the criteria is matched in both the tables. That is, it will retrieve only the common IDs, that is only the common values from both the tables. So here I have written the inner join query. Select column names from student table, inner join student address table on id column. So as I already told you inner join will retrieve only the common values in both the tables. Only the matching values in both the tables. That is it will not return 5 and 7 here because 5 and 7 is not common in both the tables. The common IDs are 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 8, 9 and 10. So only these values are returned. Next type of join is left join or left outer join. Left join will retrieve complete information from the left side table and only the matching information from the right side table. So here complete student details will be returned from student table and student address will be returned only for the matching columns in both student table and address table. So if we see the query here, I have replaced the inner keyword with left outer. The result set of this query will have complete information from the left side table and only the matching information from right side table. That is it will have complete information from student table. If you see here we have all the student IDs from student table and only the matching addresses from student address table. If there is no match found in the student address table, nulls are returned here. So if you see here for the ID 7, student address is not there. So null is returned. So let's move on to the right join. Similar to the left join, right join will retrieve the complete information from right side table and only the matching information from the left side table. We'll see the same example for right join. If I run this query, I should get complete information from right side table, that is student address table, and only the matching information from left side table. So as you see here, I got complete information from student address table and only the matching details from student table. So for ID 5, I don't have matching data in student table. So nulls are returned for ID 5 from student table and in student address table I have the information. So that is we will get complete information from right side table and only the matching information from left side table. Next type of join is full outer join or full join. 
This is combination of left outer join and right outer join and this will get complete information from both the tables. If at all matching data is there in both the tables, matching data will be returned else nulls will be returned. We will see the same example for full outer join. So if I run this query, I should get complete data from both the tables. Here as you can see, I got complete data from both the tables from student table and student address table for all the IDs. So on the left side table that is in student table I don't have ID 5. So for ID 5 from student table I got nulls and from student address table I got address. Similarly for ID 7 I don't have address in student address table so nulls are returned but from student table I got the information. I hope this explanation is clear. Please let me know your valuable suggestions and comments. Thanks for watching this video. Have a good day.